Hello Lilas, welcome back to my channel guys. Guys, if you're not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And guys, I am here with Paris Me More. And many of you that have been following my channel for the last seven, eight years will know Paris Me More. Um, she is the one baby that actually started my, what I call doll addiction. Um, I had gotten babies prior to her and then when I got her I was like oh my gosh and she was the baby that made me say oh my god it gets better and I wanted I wanted more. Um, Paris Man more like I said she's about eight years old. Um, she was reborn by um, Yogi. Um, she actually have an anatomically correct tummy plate. I often forget about that. <laughs> um, but I don't have it in here right now. It's I keep it put away because I don't keep it on her. And she has a little birthmark on her tummy and everything on her birth on her um, belly plate. But I brought her out. Um, well, she stays out, but you know what I mean. I brought her on to do a changing video with you guys, just because I see some things in the forum, and you know, like I said before, I am not here to. Uh, try to be a know-it-all or be like so-and-so is wrong because everybody have their own experience and everybody's entitled to talk tell their experience and tell their story and how they see things um but i just wanted to show to some people um just in case you're a little concerned or feel like um you know a little worried about um handling these babies and we're going to talk about her hair and I'm going to fix her hair on camera but I'm trying to get in here um but I just want you know some people to know that there are babies that can last many years and keep their their same condition and step you know this um Paris me more she has, like I said, she's been around for eight years. Nothing has changed with her. Um, everything about her is the same as it's always been. Um, the one she is the one baby that made me really um, appreciate texture. Um, when I first got Paris Mia Moore, <laughs> um. First of all, shout out to Tammy because I wanted a baby by Yogi so bad and I couldn't get a hold of her and I made a rant video like saying I give up, you know, and Tammy was, you know, able to talk to Yogi and be like, this crazy girl. No, she probably didn't say crazy, but she was like, this, this, this collector is like going crazy because she can't get one of your babies. Anyway, I threw a tantrum. Um, oh, oh no, that's not the same fact. I was like. She got on the same diaper. But anyway, back to the texture part. I changed her like two to whew, maybe um, sometime three times a day. And I know that sounds insane, but I really did. And I mean, she had her, you know, pajamas of the night. She had, she got dressed before I went to work. If I was off during the weekend, she would have her little midday outfit on and it was just like it was just all about Paris I would like be so mad when people asked to buy Paris I would like literally this this how petty I, I mean I've, I'm probably still petty but I was really petty then I would like delete you like block you if you asked to buy Paris like it was like that serious to me um and so and I still love Paris when I when I you know, do change her diapers or her clothes or, you know, reposition her in a different spot. I I still have that same love for her. Um, Paris have three-fourth arms. She has full limbs. She was both three-fourth all the way, but I eventually build up the courage to change her body to this suede body, custom body, and I try to keep all her weighting the same as how she came because she was weighted so nicely um her hair and i think i told this story before and i should have brought a comb but um yogi had tried a new hair 
and um, first time she had tried this hair and I won't say where it came from um, and we discovered that it actually bled a little bit um, but Yogi told me what to do and I did it I think I set I don't know I don't want to misquote it but I think it was I set uh, I rinsed it and I put some conditioner on it and let it sit for a little bit and then I rinse it out again with cold water and it pretty much rinsed it it don't really bleed like like it did but I always was careful not to make sure I got her hands or anything on it because it would bleed but it don't it don't bleed anymore as far as I can tell but you know of course it was like a jet black hair so you know it, it lost a little bit of its luster but all I have to do is just like style it and it comes right back. So, which is what I'm going to do now. And how I end up, it used to tangle really bad. But I used fabric softener and water in her hair. And it actually detangled her hair. And I never had to really worry about the tangling again. And part of the tangling part, this was when Yogi was still, you know, she wasn't like micro rooting like she does now. So her rooting wasn't as perfect. Oh, come on, guys. It was like eight years ago, right? Um, so, but now her rooting, you know, of course, is different. But it, it, as you can see, it's not bad. It's just, um, so. But you know what? She, she is still a beautiful baby. I love the way that um, Yogi did a... a, a she painted and rooted her forehead and so she's a hairy baby which is like my second baby and that just really made me really fall in love with her um even more so um you know Paris is a forever baby and I know like we get caught up on the new babies and all that and stuff and people may think that Paris um, has lost her place with me, but she really haven't because I've actually used to get offers still for her. Whenever I show her, I will still get somebody that thinks that <laughs> I will just go ahead and sell her. Like, why would I do that? But um, yeah, so um, I'm not gonna like, go and do it well I'll do it a little bit but I don't want to really wet her back part because she's just gonna lay on it but I might let's see I'm gonna at least get it brushed out though hang on boop, boop. I just want to make sure I don't lay her on let me get something to lay it down I don't want to lay her face on where I spray. So I'm gonna lay this. I don't know if you guys can see, but child, this is making my back hurt. Hang on. And I know I'm blocking the light, but don't worry. When I get through, I'll um, I'll I'll, I'll get out the way so you guys can see. But yeah, you know, the most her hair have done is just like it might mat up or something like that. Um, if I don't, you know, brush it for a while. But as you guys can see, I'm able to brush right on through it with the soft toothbrush. Um, so she didn't lose like all her hair. You know, the rumors where you got to put them on satin pillows and you got to, you know, they're going to eventually lose their hair. It's going to rub out. It's this. It's that. Um, you know, with most of my babies, I have not experienced a lot of the stuff that I read in the forums. But it's not to say that it won't happen. Um, maybe it's just, you know, depends on how it's done or, you know, that what, you know, what type of hair. Because I do know 
but like some people say the um is it the alpaca hair can be very soft and fine and sometimes I have heard a lot of my friends say that they have had experiences with that hair rubbing out but um yeah so um but I just you know my babies pretty much have always kept pretty much you know all their hair so um silicone babies you know yeah they have they can't be um they can't be their hair can't be sealed so you know you might have more of a thing with that than anything but one thing you know I appreciate about some of the collector artists is that they try to figure out ways to make these babies last a long time for us despite us being foolish as some artists will say in playing with our babies <laughs> on a regular basis because they you know they get it you know and so um you know, I just feel like I've been fortunate enough to where I really haven't had bad experiences with the babies that I've kept long term. Um, and that's why I texture all my babies. Um, and that's just water, just FYI, that I just used in their hair. There's nothing in it but water. Um, and just so you guys can see, there's it's not bleeding nothing on there i just didn't want her face to lay on it now i'm gonna put her on this sleeper this um rumper and i'm gonna keep her on her onesie because sometimes i don't know i just like her to be in her onesie but um and this might be a little big for her but we're gonna put it on anyway but um yeah that's that's why i texture my babies um and I like them, I like to, when I buy Reborns, I really love for them to be textured. I've bought a few babies in the past that wasn't really textured. And um, and so I pretty much, I didn't end up keeping them long, but I felt like they would go shiny. I had one baby um, and I actually did texture it. <laughs> I don't normally like to paint over artist work, but I hadn't planned on keeping that artist, I mean, not selling that baby. And it wasn't that I painted over the work. The work is still the same. The color and everything is the same. I just textured it and resealed it because I felt like it was it was about to go shiny and lose paint. And so I did that. But I usually won't touch nobody else's work. But that was in my personal collection and I plan to keep it. And it also taught me a lesson to leave stuff alone because you never know, you might still sell it. Now Paris have lost her little earrings. I'm gonna have to get her some more earrings. And she's lost it to a sibling, I'm sure, because that's what I do. I will <laughs> take earrings and stuff from other babies, but um say that's okay because mommy will get I always upgrade her earrings. Every so many years I upgrade her earrings anyway to something different. So she is due for a new pair anyway. So that's what I will be doing. But yeah, Paris is um, same. Her painting and everything. And a matter of fact, to be honest with you, in my opinion, the only thing that Paris, and that was from the beginning, is the nails were not as... Um, and I won't touch them. I could go in and change them, but I will not touch them. She will always be, you know, completely painted and done by Yogi. That was the only thing that, and, and me and Yogi both talked about that even at one point that, you know, she was like, oh, I could have done it different or whatever. But, but you know what? She, um... Everything about her is the same, and I and her painting, in my opinion, like especially like her arms and legs. I mean, really, to be honest, she actually is as nice as um, some babies, you know, that I see currently painted, currently painted babies. 
she's she's still just as nice so um for those that are new to her inspires me more you will see more of her but i just wanted to show guys you know don't don't be so afraid um of the baby i need her some socks but i don't want to oh let me grab my socks man um just don't be afraid to enjoy your dolls and don't you can't you can't take everything that someone says to be you know true because you know people or i'm gonna say true but that it's gonna happen with your doll because um everybody do things different everybody paint different so you know what what happens with one baby may not happen with your baby and so i just feel like you gotta keep that in mind and auntie cheryl sent these socks for a baby but i'm gonna put i think i'm gonna put the gray pair on i don't want her to be like super matchy matchy so i'm gonna put the gray ones on but yeah it's you know i i really you know it's crazy like i don't want to dispute what no one says or anything like that i just you know i just want other um collectors to feel confident and okay and then you know what if if something happened you just deal with it from there like i I'm, I'm not i don't know about y'all but i'm not spending this kind of money on these dolls and not enjoy them i'm just not and i'm not going to um i'm not going to be crazy with it but i'm not going to be afraid to enjoy them like i i mean that's crazy i i don't think that I'm, I just I just can't see myself not enjoying the money that I've, I've spent out. So if something happened, I'll have to handle it at that point. But until then, I'm going to enjoy my babies and um, to the fullest. Absolutely. She still has her magnet. She takes pacifier, but I don't have a pacifier with her, but she don't need pacifier right now. But yeah, so she's a pretty good size baby. That outfit did actually fit her. It fits her pretty well too. So anyway, I know this has been a long video. I hope you guys enjoy seeing her. It's been a while. And I will put this back over so you guys can see. I will turn, I will open the blinds so you guys can get some natural light. And and that's her with the natural light so okay that's it guys let me know what baby you would like to see next and i will try to do a video thanks for watching bye bye